With ever-increasing tractor machinery and diesel prices, a highly volatile commodities market and unpredictable weather patterns, modern farmers must find a system which is not only fast and low cost, but one that can also provide a reliable high yield result, making farming sustainable and most importantly profitable. That was the driving force behind the patented Claydon drill. What we were looking at um, in about 2000 was low crop prices and because we had low crop prices we couldn't afford to keep making these cloddy seed beds and chasing around these clods and moving all this soil and spending all this money. So we looked at what was available in the marketplace and there were basically district drills which we saw plenty of in the 70s and we had mixed results around here on this heavy soil and we thought why didn't they work and it was quite simple they weren't moving enough soil to create enough drainage and the seed would get flooded and then not grow and perish so we looked at our own system and we moved the soil to create drainage and better rooting and a bit of air underneath the, where we put the seed and we put the, the seed on each side of the bank where the tine ran so it was always lovely drained into nice broken soil and would grow perfectly. Now we only go over once with this drill and Cambridge roll it. So our savings are absolutely phenomenal to what we used to have back in those old days of moving all the soil. And the most interesting thing of all is the results we're getting. Our yields, because our timeliness is so much better, we put the seed in the ground and it grows straight away, we're getting top yields. Our highest yield we've achieved so far on the farm is 12.5 tonnes a hectare. We're heavy land, it's good and it has to be the right season, we have to have enough rain in June to do that. But we're commonly achieving 10 tonne a hectare average over all the weeks. And the all seed rapes is quite common to see five tonnes a hectare in fields, but when we get to the end and take all the rabbit damage and pigeon damage out, we're probably just over four tonne a hectare. So our yields are probably 10% higher because of better timeliness with the new system. So we're much, much more profitable as a farm, and that gives us more money to spend where we want to spend it. And most importantly, it gives us much more time to enjoy the farming and enjoy life as well. Clayton drills are designed using the latest computer-aided design technology. Manufactured by skilled craftsmen to the highest specification. Incorporating the best quality cedar units, metering systems, as well as long-life tungsten carbide tip knives. They are finished to the highest standard and sprayed with a tough, durable paint. Before delivery, stringent inspection checks ensure each drill leaves the factory in perfect condition, ready for years of service on your farm. One of Claydon Drill's customers' main concerns is weed control. On their own farm in Suffolk, the Claydon family have less weed issues now they are direct seeding than when they had a plough-based system. Why? It's very simple. The weed seed is left on the surface of the ground chitted using tools like the Claydon straw harrow and then sprayed off rather than burying the problem with the plough. Two of the major challenges for farmers who are looking at min-till and direct seeding are weed control and slug control. Claydon have developed their straw harrow to reduce slug numbers and also to chit weeds and create a stale seed bed ready for drilling into. I'm currently stood in a rapes double field. On this side of me you can see where it's been straw harrowed once. Look at all of the cotyledons that is actually chitted from last year's crop. They're at the perfect growth stage where if you harrow them again, many of those cotyledons will actually be pulled out by the harrow. The idea with the straw harrow is not to do an intensive cultivation, but to actually create a micro-tilf at the surface and to move any large areas of straw that may be laid on the surface to break that straw down and to eradicate any slug eggs that may be lurking under that area. As you can see here, what wouldn't grow in this micro-tilf? This significantly reduces your chemical bill and it is such a quick and easy operation. We're doing this at 25 kilometers per hour and we're covering seven and a half meters with a straw harrow. That is really quite rapid. 
The Claydon straw harrow is incredibly effective. It can be used to tremendous effect on all stubbles, including cereals. It encourages weed seeds and volunteers to establish very quickly. These can then be easily dealt with using effective chemical control. The results are clear to see. You can see all the black grass growing here, and if we just take the straw away, it's all there. And, and of course the friability of the soil is... You can see the soil, there's lovely, lovely condition. It's just all in the top Look there. That. It's all buried. All in the top section, and all rooted here. So. Spray it with Roundup, all dead. The great thing about the Claydon drill system is its versatility. It can be used to establish any seed that can be air seeded directly into the stubble or minimum tillage or fully cultivated seed bed. It is a very, very versatile system. Reason being, you can do all of your small seeds, you can do oilseed rape, cereals, oats, wheat, barley, everything with it on that front. You can also do pulses such as beans, peas, it will establish linseed fine and it will establish ryegrass and various other grass seeds as well. Uh, the machine is so versatile because the front tine in the machine will drop down to whichever depth you wish to use it to bust out the compaction and create the drainage underneath. So for a deep rooting crop like rape, you'd want to be around about six inches deep. Whereas for a small rooting crop such as wheat, which is more fibrous rooting, you'd want to be about four inches deep. So it gives you total versatility by the adjustment on that front tine. Then on the back, you can choose which, which share you wish to use. So for cereals, you'd wish to do a band, so you'd do a seven inch band, and then you'd leave a five inch gap and a seven inch band. So you'd use seven inch wheat sowing or cereal sowing knife to go on that. With your rape, you'd want to go with a thinner band to keep more moisture, so you'd want to go with a three inch rape spoon. And if your conditions were in between, we do a five inch spoon to go on there as well. Let's look at some first wheat drilled with a Clayton drill. see a first wheat crop drilled here using the Claydon drill. Um, it's been drilled directly into the oilseed rape stubble. Um, we have gone along using the Claydon system and we have created a drainage channel with the front tine and the drainage channel is underneath and the second tine has then gone through and tilted the soil lifting it up and placing the seed underneath it. Now I'm just going to Dig, a, dig through here, you can see all of the nice residue from the previous year's crops. Some earthworms here, and we discover our first piece of seed here. Then we dig a little deeper, more seed, more seed. The seed is on the banks created by the A-share there. It's in a seven inch band, and there'll be a five inch gap in between each band of seed. So the seed here, find some more seed. I'm sure I saw a bit there. Um, he's there. And then here is the drainage channel created by that front tine. The soil is all in fantastic condition and very much cultivated by the earthworms. And we'll just strip down here. See the seed. See that drainage channel.
This is heavy Henzo Series 2 clay, which you can very easily get and mould into a ball. However, when the soil has its structure, it doesn't actually mould into a ball. It performs an awful lot better and performs like a different soil. 2010 was a very wet year, whereas 2011, of course, was very dry. This all seed rape stubble was drilled six days ago with a Claydon hybrid drill. And you can see here where the drill has levelled it down with the batter boards and we've run the Cambridge roll over it. After six days, we should be seeing a little bit of activity down here of, of some crop growing. So what I'm going to do is dig down in the middle here where the band of seed, which is seven inches wide, is planted. The ridges here, which carry the equipment, are solid. And of course, the crop will grow in this seven inch band. So let's have a little look and see if we can find some seed which is actually growing. Here we're scrapping down and here's the bank where the seed was drilled, where the tine went down and here we should find some seeds. Here's one little seed, you can just see it, it's just started to grow and it's got a shoot on quarter of an inch long. Here's our friend the worm next door to him. Here we can see some more should find some more seeds in here as well. Here's another one. They've chittered and started to grow and you can see there the growing shoot on there about 10 millimeters long. There he is and uh, that crop will soon be emerging once a nice little rain on it and it will be up in no time at all. And despite varied and extreme weather conditions in recent years, the Clayton drill still performs well when other systems fail. This crop is a a crop of winter wheat is first wheat and it's following all seed rape. Um, this field we've drilled now for about eight years solid is direct drilling and every year we've direct drilled it and what we basically do is have a very simple rotation of all seed rape followed by a first wheat followed by a second wheat and this crop is directly behind the all seed rape as a first wheat so we're looking for an exciting result from the combine. Uh, this year has been very tricky in 2010 because since January we've only had 30 millimetres of rain up until July which was the main growing season and we've had far more since then and we're now going in on the 2nd of September and going to cut this crop and see what it yields. It's the very first bit of first wheat we've cut and the yield on the headland was exceeding nine tonne nicely and we're fast approaching an average of 10 tonnes a hectare. So it's pretty good for this season, but we are seeing more variance because of the dry conditions. After first wheat, the Clayton drill system is highly successful in establishing second wheat into either baled or chopped straw with impressive results. The straw stays at the surface and becomes brittle. It forms a mulch which prevents weeds from germinating. 
It also oxidises and becomes a compost to feed the crop. The Claydon drill encourages strong and healthy rooting systems using its patented two-tine technique. Inviting customers and interested farmers onto the farm is important for Claydon drill. It shows just what can be achieved by using the Claydon drill system and is backed up by numerous years of independent trial results. We have open days, crucially, to be able to show our customers how to get the best out of the drill and get the very best results. And of course, that we have our trials which we run with um, Saturn Union, who've now joined up with HGCA and drilling the rape, and we've had 10% extra yield increases. Richard from Saturn Union says the best variety gave over £100 a hectare more yield and income than, than the plough-based system. So choosing the right variety is crucial, and that's the information we share with our customers to get the best from the drill. While we have loads of visitors, we probably have 500 visitors this year come through from colleges, um, from different countries, and our, most importantly, our local customers who've got drills. Uh, straight into the chopped straw and stubble. When you look in the bottom, you can hardly see any stubble left. It was all chopped straw and stubble. It was drilled with a hybrid drill. Um, if you look at the tillers, they're all nice and even size. And if you put the poker in between the rows, where the drill, but you'll see it goes in a lot easier. What we can do is dig up a little bit, if you like, and, and see what we're looking at. Look. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So sort of like a, and all of the small roots, fibrous roots, fibrous roots which the crop is growing through. And if you take the crop at the top there, it's all fairly dry now. And you can see the structure of the soil is absolutely lovely. Traditionally, oilseed rape can be a challenging crop to grow, but not if you're using a Claydon drill. This field has been established with oilseed rape at 12 inch point to point spacings using a 3 inch rape spoon. It was second wheats beforehand and we've simply gone straight in after spraying it off. All that has happened is the front tine has gone along and created a drainage channel and the second tine has then come along and tilted the soil very shallowly, putting the seed underneath in a band. The band is three inches wide and the seed is sat highly above the drainage channel. The roots grow down into the drainage channel and out into the banks. In between the rows is very, very solid soil. So this supports the tractors and machinery throughout the year and allows the sprayer to run all year round without causing compaction. The Claydon patented technique ensures the seed is always well drained and the roots quickly and easily grow deep down into the soil. This in turn produces strong, healthy plants and a full, high yielding crop. The oilseed rapes were excellent. We had about four tonnes a hectare from oilseed rape um, and they've, they've done well apart from where the rabbits and the pigeons ate it, but where we had the good parts of the field, we had the fields doing at least five tonnes a hectare, which was very pleasing. Yes. But too many pigeons and too many rabbits on headlands, and we came back to an average just a little over four tonnes a hectare. Many farmers growing beans are already aware of the benefits of using a Claydon drill. Not only is it quick and low cost, it produces a high yielding crop and excellent results. In this field, the beans have been sown in two centimeter rows, spaced 30 centimeters apart, using the Claydon bean drilling kit. 
The soil is left undisturbed and covered in straw, which forms a mulch, reducing weed growth. This crop, on the other hand, has been ploughed in conventionally. And look at the difference. The weed growth is obvious. Claydon drills improve the soil structure and its ability to carry machinery by only cultivating where the seed is sown and the rooting zones are. Solid banks are left to support machinery. Because the Claydon farm is on heavy clay, they occasionally mould drain to improve drainage. This crop was mould drained in March this year. Uh, we've had very little rain since. You can see by the size of the cracking in the crop that there's uh, an awful lot of drying happened. I'll demonstrate with the tine here. A good two inch gap at the top. And you can see we need a longer tine to go down there. If you look at the crop, you'll see all across it that there's very little evidence of where the mole drainer ran, even though it ran over the top of the crop in March. These banks contain high levels of earthworms, soil organic matter and nutrients, which improves moisture retention and drainage properties. Encouraging earthworms, of course, is vital to the health of your soil and its productivity. The earthworms feed on the bacteria of the decomposing straw and earthworms colonise the straw and place them in piles and come up and pull the straw down into the ground, feeding on the bacteria. It takes a while for it to decompose and the earthworms seem to have stockpiles at the surface where they come out and, and pull it down. We've got markets going in Latvia, Lithuania, Germany, France, Finland, many countries. We had somebody from Denmark and I think the whole thing is stepping up. It's all revving up. People who've got the drill love it. They're getting fantastic results. Just speak to any of our customers. And all the fears have been allayed. We back them up. We have open days, training sessions to make sure that they're 100%. I have the Claydon drill new this spring, 2010. And what's your impression so far? Um, I've drilled all my spring rape crops with it. They've all come through very successful. Um, I've been very happy with the drill so far. It's going to save me quite a bit of money in the future and it's going to cut my input costs down with staff and machinery quite considerably. Um, I looked at all the others but I'd seen reports of the Claydon drills, spoke to several farmers on the phone that have had them for a couple of years, been to other farms as well as uh, Claydon's themselves and uh, that made my mind up to go to that system. We've run one for the first time last season. So uh, it was the first growing season using one. However, the season before, we did have a neighbouring farmer come in and drill some winter beans for us. So we've actually seen sort of uh, one crop grow through to the full potential. And then this is the first actual growing season having drilled one with ourselves. Uh, we've bought a second-hand bee drill, predominantly for drilling all seed rape and beans. So this time it's covered about 1,200 acres. And the idea was buying a second-hand one as well. We could perhaps have a, a bit of a dabble drilling, drilling cereals, and it's another sort of part of the armoury and the cultivations of the different seasons, etc. But from the all-seed rate point of view, we've got the we've got excellent drainage from going in about six inches deep with the front tine. we also got very good seed to soil contact, and we were using dressed seed, so we got complete coverage. And uh, very, very even emergence, regardless of soil type. We've got very different soil types in the same field, ranging from ironstone to a heavier soil. Just very, very consistent all over. Well, we've already costed everything out. There's a good saving there over moving all the soil, there's better weed control um, and I think really you know going forward it gives us more scope to manipulate with the yields, we feel a bit more confident spending a bit more on some of these crops, particularly with all seed rate coming through a winter etc. So from now on we're going to be looking at uh, potentially drilling wheat direct after beans and um, also trying some areas of second wheats etc. The key issue was um, we'd been drilling rape um, using a cultivator with a cedar box on and uh, we were moving all the ground and uh, obviously the cost factor with that we were losing moisture. I'd looked at the subsoil root um, and just felt that it was a bit of a sort of sledgehammer to crack a walnut really. It just seemed a bit of an overkill. Um, going down that, that six inches was, was plenty and the beauty is I've got a 4.8 drill on a 250 horsepower tractor rather than tying up some of the, the bigger equipment on a sort of four metre subsoiler. So for me, I'll get the output as well. Very well designed, very strong drill. It is very, it's a very simple design as well. And uh, yeah, certainly the build and the wearing parts, everything's uh, stood up to very well.
I think the future is really bright. I think we're going to grow very quickly and it's always a great fear when one grows very quickly but I think as long as we make sure that our product is 100% we develop everything on the farm here we test everything on the farm we listen to our customers we listen to light land customers heavy land customers all of the different areas we see good results we know where it's not so good we know what to do when to do it and when not to do it and all they need to do is pick the phone up and they've got our advice virtually, I won't say 24 hours a day, but most of the day, certainly while I'm awake anyway. Clayton Drill, helping to give you sustainable, profitable, high yielding crops.